So Eric, as we're recording this, we're coming up on AMI's birthday, our anniversary, um, which is February 28th, 2012. So it's our 10 year anniversary, AMI turns 10. And as your content writer, I've been with you for a few years now, and I'm curious to learn more about AMI's origin story and your role in that story. So what motivated you to start helping architects with marketing? Well, Sienna, um, I've been working with architects for quite a long time, since 1989, when I started to um, work with some CAD programs, a 3D design tool primarily called ArchiCAD. And uh, so for over 20 years, I was a reseller or dealer for ArchiCAD software and helped you know, hundreds of firms get up to speed with that. Now, along the way, uh, I became friends and close to many of my clients. Um, and I started to develop some add-on products that, uh, online and learned about online marketing. So instead of just relying on being fed leads from the, you know, the company that makes it ArchiCAD, um, I started to develop my own marketing tools. Now in the great recession, you know, 2008, 9, 10, et cetera, um, so many of my clients were suffering with, you know, a lack of work, you know, the whole industry really imploded for a, a while. Um, and people, you know, were saying, Eric, I don't know what I'm going to do. The phone is not ringing. And I started to do web development for some of these clients to help them get their websites more effective as lead generation um, platforms to help them bring in more clients. So I reached a point in 2012, so 10 years ago, I realized that I could put together a, uh, a whole framework for training architects to have a more um, effective platform online to attract um, clients. And so um, I decided to make a course that I called Internet Marketing for Architects. Uh, now, in February of that year, uh, I decided that the first step along the way, instead of just teaching a course, would be to do a pilot program with a small group of architects. Um, and that's what I launched on that February 28th of 2012, the Internet Marketing for Architects pilot program. So what I did at that point uh, was assemble a small team um, to work with me to help. We had, I think, about 15 architects in the program. Um, and help them develop their websites better. Uh, that was from an SEO perspective, so search engine optimizations so that they could be found for the right sorts of things, creating content, so uh, writing articles, uh, creating video content as well, uh, showcasing the architect's expertise in specific areas, and then um, developing as well a ways to do lead capture. So, you know, if these architects had some people visiting uh, that they would be offering a, um, you know, a resource, a downloadable resource. Uh, in the industry, it's commonly called a lead magnet. In um, our Architect Marketing Institute uh, lingo, it's uh, monkey's fist. Um, Richard Petrie, uh, you know, coined that term for this particular uh, approach. So back in 2012, I started working with these firms and it was very exciting to see uh, the ones who took it seriously and really worked closely with our team uh, within a few months had uh, increased their web presence to the point where they were getting lots of traffic. They were going from you know, a few dozen visits during a month to several hundred or even you know, multiple thousands of visits from potential clients because of all the you know, visibility that they were getting. Um, and then in uh, July of that year, um, I launched the Internet Marketing for Architects course, uh, which I think we had about 100 people sign up for um, and took those strategies and taught it uh, as, you know, methods that any architect could learn how to use. So that was the origins um, from my perspective of the whole Architect Marketing Institute, because before then I had helped a little bit with web development and just giving some advice, uh, but this was the first structured program. Um, and it was very exciting um, to see how that developed over the next you know, few years. 
Yeah. It sounds like you found the, you found them at the right time too in in the wake of the financial collapse. Yeah. Um and what was included in that first program? Um well, so as I mentioned, you know, a small team worked with the architects to revamp their website for technical aspects. So that some part of search engine optimization or SEO is making sure the website is clean and comes up quickly and, it, and it's visible in the right ways. Um, targeting their uh, specialties. So if they were specializing in residential architecture um, or remodels or particular types of you know, historic landmark things um, that uh, that was clearly described on the website. So uh, part of it was technical and part of it was actually refining the message um, and uh, ultimately picking some specialty areas that uh, these architects wanted to get known for. Um, we also use some tools to create video content um, for the architects um, that uh, were based on images and uh, text that they wrote. Uh, so it wasn't uh, for the most part, direct interviews, uh, which can also work very well. It was more of a collage of a sequence of images and words. Uh, also did some article writing similar to what you do, Sienna, for our mastermind uh, team or mastermind members, um, just because Google recognizes um, when uh, there is content on a website, it says that's better than a website that just has images. Um, and having fresh content in multiple articles uh, builds up the authority of any site. Um, so it was a combination of uh, those things, plus another uh, strategy we did uh, were press releases. Um, so press releases at that time, not only, you know, just in, uh, in general, could you could write up a press release and put it through a distribution service, not only would it get seen by potentially press, uh, but it also, Google was recognizing that as, oh, wow, there is some information being spread in many places on the internet, and that must mean the site is good. Now, later, Google got a little smarter and realized, you know what, people are paying to just get this out there in a lot of places. You know, maybe we need to just only recognize it when it's actually published on, you know, more authoritative um, locations. So um, the press release strategy uh, is less effective now than it was. But ultimately, it's about targeting the messaging and getting um, more of it up there. Because so many architects uh, are, are just taught that uh, do good work, get good photos of your, of your projects, put up your portfolio, um, and that'll make people go, wow, I'd like to work with this architect. But it doesn't, doesn't necessarily work that way. No, no, it's not always enough. You know, some of these strategies sound very familiar um, as to what we offer now. We still do offer some press release writing, but we do more SEO articles. Um, we do like long form interviews for our mastermind members, and we work on um, really honing in on their target audience and on their niche. Um, I heard you mention that too. Um, so their niche audience, the projects they really love to do, and how we can help them get found by Google um, and just by, by the people that they really want to work for. Um, I'm curious, how else have these online marketing strategies evolved over time? Well, the next step in my journey was to uh, evolve the training course, which let's say where I shared the things I had learned and the things I researched um, to evolve it into a coaching program that uh, had guest experts. So I started to reach out to different authorities, you know, in marketing and particularly marketing for architects um, and had them as guests on the coaching program. And that is how I met Enoch Sears, you know, because he had uh, already started the business of architecture in back in 2012, uh, 2013 timeframe. Um, he was still working as an, uh, as an architect and it was a side project, uh, but uh, you know, he had written an article on, Dear Architect, Why Your Website Sucks. You know, <laughs> and, it was very one. and uh -huh. it was the basic point of it was if it's all about you, meaning like the architect and how great you are and your portfolio, then you're missing the point that people need to know about what's in it for them. What problems can you solve 
that they have, what opportunities can you help them to achieve? And so, you know, the difference between um, I'm great, hire me to do you have a, are you working in this area? Here's here's the things you need to be aware of. And here's you know, here's how we can help you. Uh, so very interesting. And, uh, you know, got to know Enoch and really um, saw the power of his insights. Now, um, we uh, connected mutually to uh, Richard Petrie um, uh, when one of uh, Enoch's, um, I guess, uh, followers, uh, Mona Quinn, um, said that she was working with a very expensive marketing consultant, but it was really working. She was getting lots of business from him. And we said, well, who is it? And uh, so we uh, both reached out to Richard and uh, decided to start promoting and working with Richard's uh, insights. So as we formed Architect Marketing Institute later in 2013 um, and promoted the first AMA or Architect Marketing Academy uh, course, um, a training program, um, we uh, started to evolve the whole approach from what I had to include more sales and uh, uh, sort of um, the way that you talk to people. So one of the things that Richard really is so uh, uh, amazing at is to understand people's psychology. And, and that's on a, at least a couple of different levels. One is as an architect, how do you change your attitude from being a humble servant to being in charge of the process and you know, knowing what you're worth and you know, not giving away lots of time and, and things. So how do you guide that process um, so that uh, you get paid what you're worth? And, and uh, the other part of it is how do you communicate your value in a way that people go, wow, I really want to work with you because you're a specialist in this area and you, you, know, you bring some skills to the table that no one else is talking about in that way. Um, so uh, as we developed Architect Marketing Institute programs, I think we still call ourselves a marketing institute, uh, focus on marketing, but I would say we're almost equally uh, focused on sales. So when people, and what's the difference between marketing and sales? Marketing is what you do in general to achieve visibility and to get people to go, yeah, I'd like to talk to you, or I'd like some information from what you have online. Sales is what you do when people, uh, when you're talking to people and uh, have the opportunity then to diagnose their problems, you know, or what, or what they want to achieve and ultimately um, put yourself in a position to be hired. And uh, so the Richard's um, development of the low commitment consultation um, or LCC offer uh, was, is just such a brilliant thing that just brings such immediate impact to many of our members um, who get paid for things that they used to do for free. And this is something that um, I, I'm not sure I would have ever thought of it because uh, you know it was it comes from Richard's background as um, uh, in his sales career, um, selling high tech, uh, products um, that the research phase, when you just start to engage with a client to prescribe what what exactly are we going to do here? What what do you need? Take some real effort, and that is worth money. That is worth it takes time and it's worth being paid for, and it has a side benefit that um, you get in earlier than you might otherwise. It, it's, a, it's an incremental step be, between the discussions and the full contract. So that's probably been the biggest development in terms of um, working with Richard and uh, Enoch as well in the, in the first few years. Um, and, and that was adding this whole sales uh, process to the marketing side. Mm. The LCC is a very popular and beloved strategy among members today, too. We actually have an interview with Richard and one of our current mastermind members, Sally Woods, her name almost escaped me, but it's with Sally Woods. And we, we call her an assertive architect. She's gone from not really communicating her worth, not charging for her work right away um, to using the LCC and being more assertive in the way she communicates her value. 
And I'm, I'm curious, in addition to the LCC and some of the other tools you've mentioned, are there any other methods or approaches that are now more integrated into the AMI program? Well, I think another thing that did come in over time is the, is the uh, integration of multiple modalities of helping architects. So uh, I've worked individually with architects, as I said, uh, with training, um, and then morphed that into an online training um, uh, platform, uh, initially with the Archicad software uh, that I'm an expert in, and then later with this internet marketing. Um, and uh, we certainly immediately went into uh, creating content through webinars, which I had been doing and recording it and making it available in a member area. But when you have a lot of videos that are in a member's area, um, it can be a little daunting in terms of the um, uh, ability to absorb them and implement. And so we, we did two things that I think uh, have really made a difference, a huge difference in the success of our clients, the percentage that actually you know, go from having purchased to getting benefit to saying, wow, this has changed my, my life and my business. Uh, the two things, one are, is um, coaching, group coaching, and the other is uh, guided implementation. Uh, so the group coaching, we have uh, two calls a week, one with Richard, one with myself, uh, where any questions that come up along the way can be answered. And we have interesting discussions about uh, challenges um, and ideas and theory, um, and also share the wins, the, the progress and achievements that um, our members have along the way. So it really is an inspiring time. And everybody who does take the time to attend, um, you know, comes away in general with more momentum, more excitement, um, more strength to push through when things, you know, don't work so simply or take multiple, you know, a certain amount of effort. And then the other thing is that we developed a whole um, guided implementation system for the marketing. So we believe that there's a foundation of the marketing platform um, for any architect uh, that involves creating some educational resources, we call a monkey's fist, um, that uh, people can go, hmm, that looks good. Yeah, I'll give you my name and email and you send that to me, um, as well as uh, offers for a structured meeting. Um, so we call that Ask the Expert. Um, and that instead of just saying, free consultation, call us when you're thinking of a project. It is a structured call. You know, you get a free 20 minute or 30 minute call to discuss X, Y, and Z. And from that call, you'll get clarity on this. You'll get, you know, a, a one page action plan. You'll get some specific results. So this is um, a foundation of the marketing platform is to offer something that people can go, hmm, yeah, I'd like that. Uh, so we guide our members through that, and they simply just fill in some forms um, with some information um, that we guide them how to, you know, think about. And then our team creates landing pages or, you know, online pages where these offers are made. So by making it a structure where you follow through the training step by step, submitting information to our team, where, which we build out, it removes the whole overwhelm of there's so much to learn, so much I should be doing. Instead, it's just step by step by step. <clears throat> and the coaching gives people the confidence and the energy and the enthusiasm to be able to keep going, even though for many architects, marketing is outside their comfort zone. They've been told, just do good work and people will find you. <clears throat> and you know, you just don't learn in most architecture schools, how to do business development, how to really target what you know what you want to uh, be known for, um, you know. And of course, there are exceptions, and there you know many architects over generations have uh, succeeded in building large you know companies, whether it's five people or five hundred people. Um, but most architects seem to struggle with that, taking on whatever work comes in the door, not having a system and not even being comfortable 
marketing and selling their services because they just want to be an architect. And so we're making everybody, you know, expand their comfort zone um, and be comfortable selling their architectural services, which as Richard points out is job number one, because if you don't sell your services, you don't have a client to work with. So, um, you know, over 10 years, we've sort of filled out, gone from just internet marketing that, you know, make sure your firm is seen to a whole comprehensive program that not only gets you seen, but, uh, you know, makes you comfortable talking with people, selling your services and offering it in a way that people go, wow, you're really different than the other architects. You know, we, we help people figure out what makes them unique and uh, what will make people go, I wanna work with you, or at least I wanna talk with you about this, you know, get on the short list. Cause even if you can't from your marketing materials get to the point where they go, I have to work with you. You can at least be, I have to talk with that firm because their stuff is really good. Mm. And uh, among all the things you just described, I think also our members get a sense of community. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, maybe among architects in their local areas, they might feel like there's a lot of competition to weed through, like they might not feel particularly friendly with architects in their area, but with architects around the world in our six maps program and our mastermind program, they really have a lot of wiggle room in terms of like what they can share, the stories they can share, like the ideas they can bounce back and forth. And some of our members have been with us for almost, I mean, maybe as long as 10 years, would you say some of us have, some of them have been with us almost from the beginning? Absolutely. Um, We've had different programs. And so people have signed up for more than one thing. So I can think back to people like uh, Peter Tui and Roderick Anderson, who are in our mastermind program, who were in the original Internet Marketing for Architects program. In fact, uh, uh, Roderick was one of the ones in that that pilot program 10 years ago and then joined the course for Internet Marketing. And then he was in Architect Marketing Academy. And now he's in the mastermind program. Um, and it's, it's wonderful to see, um, you know, not only to have a longtime client who, you know, is loyal and, and you know, keeps paying us some money to, to be part of our programs, but he's gone from, let's say, having a firm doing quality work to being award winning multiple awards and being sought after, um, you know, internationally. Uh, so it is very exciting to see the development of, of some of our longtime members going from, you know, let's say a smaller uh, platform isn't quite the right word, but, you know, a, a smaller presence in the world to being bigger. Now, his, his firm isn't like 100 people. I think it may be like five or 10 um, design. And then he has design build. So they have a construction side as well. But the types of projects he's doing amazing. Same with Peter Tui, who used, as he said, he used to do porches. You know, if somebody came along and said, I need to redo my porch, he would work up the drawings for that. And now he jokingly says, now I do Porsches, you know, like the the car. Uh, Well, wealthy people with whole, you know, big, big uh, homes that are, you know, very high budget. Um, So I've been very pleased to see that. And even people who joined more recently in, you know, in our um, uh, six and six maps programs who've been with us two or three years, um, you know, we're seeing the maturity of the way that they approach marketing and working with clients, their fees that they're charging, um, you know, double, triple, you know, sometimes even go up even further than that because they've learned how to communicate their value they've uh they respect themselves more than they ever did you know in terms of you know i I won't i don't want these things i want those things you know i want these types of clients these types of projects so that's been one of the most satisfying things now you mentioned you know that the community uh i also see you know as we work with people the change from um feeling isolated and feeling unclear um, on, well, what can I do to change this, to having clarity and feeling like when they make some progress, other people are cheering them on. 
and, uh, and understand the challenges as well. So the community in the coaching programs and also in the Facebook group um, has been wonderfully gratifying to see. Um, I'm really proud that we're raising the bar, raising the, 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 the water level for so mm-hmm. many architects uh, around the world uh, because I think architects are just an amazing profession good people. You know, I talked to some friends who were involved in different professions and like one good friend is involved in screenwriting and, you know, film industry. And he says that there are a lot of people who are not such nice people there. It's hard, I've hardly ever met an architect that I didn't like on some level, because I think all of, all of you out there who are involved in this want to create beauty and functional utility and serve clients, um, you know, and you probably didn't get in it for the money, um, but it's nice when you do get paid well. Um, So, you know, the motivation of doing good work, doing the best work you can, um, obviously brings the type of people, you know, to this profession that I just love being around. Yeah, so our members have a lot to be proud of, um, including our first member who you mentioned. Her name is Mona Quinn. And we have a great case study on our channel about Mona Quinn, which I can link to in the description of this video. Mm-hmm. Um, very motivating. So like, likewise, you also have a lot to be proud of. Um, and our team, we've really come a long way. What's something that you're especially proud or pleased with um, regarding how things have developed over time? Well, I'm, I'm a person who likes to grow and you know, learn new things. And I feel like uh, this is, I'm proud that, that to have continued to learn from our clients um, and from my partners, you know, Richard Petrie primarily, um, Enoch in the early years, um, And I think we are creating something that's very, very special and very, very unique um, in in the industry in terms of architecture, helping the small firm, primarily the architects who don't, aren't trained and don't naturally come by marketing and sales to uh, have more self-respect, to uh, be more effective at communicating their value and, and generally just get paid better for what they do and our team you know people like you sienna um you know I, I think we've attracted the type of people who really want to make a difference with the architects who really um, have the skills to um you know just help this whole effort um so it's been great to have you on for quite a few years now um and in fact you know most of our team once they're here, they stay, you know, uh, we haven't gone through a lot of turnover um, in, in the company. Um, so it's been very satisfying that way. Um, you know, I, I think if I were to boil this down to what are we doing here? You know, we're, we're helping a wonderful group of people, architects and building designers, interior designers, um, have a better life because they're basically all of you out there who are watching this um you need to be able to communicate your value you need to be able to find the right clients you need to be able to get paid well for what you do because what you do is so special and so i I, i'm really ultimately helping you is my mission um, you know, what, it was something that I gradually realized. I just love doing this. And so uh, I'm glad you, Sienna, and Richard, uh, and our team, you know, are focused on a noble cause. I mean, it's not the only noble cause. There's lots of good things to do in the world. But this is a pretty special one, and I'm very proud of it. Agreed. Yeah, I'm glad too. And anyone who's listening, I really encourage you to join the Architect Marketing Institute Facebook group. It's a private group, um, but if you request to join, answer a couple of the questions, let us know if you're an architect or an interior designer, or 
you know, any, any designer of sort, if, if this resonates with you, request to join the group and you can get in touch with Richard very easily in the group. Eric and I are very active in there too. And every so often Richard offers a free resource. Um, so keep an eye out for those in the group too. Mm -hmm. Well, it's exciting to think back that 10 years ago was when I just had this intuition to say, you know what? not only can I help individual architects with some marketing things and websites, but it's something that'll help a bunch of architects to create a structure, a course, a program, and a strategy um, for marketing for architects. And, uh, you know, over 10 years, I'm really pleased with where we've come. And it's nice to mark this anniversary and this birthday um, you know, I think Richard and Enoch can all point back to different um, origins for how this came to them. You know, um, Richard with probably with Mona Quinn being the first architect that he's working with and, and Enoch, I'm not sure. He's no longer, you know, actively part of our company, but as a co-founder, um, I know he, he brought um, some real insights to our early years um, and I'm very appreciative for him. So we do all have different origins where we came to it and um, Sienna and in terms of how you joined us. Uh, but ultimately, um, this is a nice uh, milestone, you know, for, um, I would say, you know, the real origin of Architect Marketing Institute 10 years ago. Yes. Yeah, it is. And I, I think a lot of what we've talked about really encompasses who is our ideal client, our ideal clients are proactive, ambitious architects, and we have attracted thousands of them all over the world. And it's, it's really a blessing to be able to create that community with you. Absolutely. Ah, well, <laughs> here's to 10 years Yes. and more years. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to 10 more years. Happy birthday. <laughs> all right, take care, Eric. Thank you.